Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today we're diving into a topic that's super important for anyone designing or installing a solar power system. Solar string voltage. Specifically, we're going to answer the question, how many solar panels can you safely connect in a string? Whether you're a DIY enthusiast or a professional installer, understanding this concept is crucial to avoid damaging your equipment and to maximize the efficiency of your solar system. So, let's break it down step by step. Section 1. What is solar string voltage? First, let's talk about what a solar string is. A solar string is a series of solar panels connected together to increase the voltage. When you connect panels in series, the voltage of each panel adds up while the current stays the same. For example, if you have five panels, each with an open circuit voltage walk of 40 volts, the total string voltage would be 200 volts. Simple, right? But here's the catch. Every solar inverter has a maximum input voltage limit. Exceeding that limit can damage your inverter or even void your warranty. Section 2. Key Factors to Consider Now let's talk about the key factors you need to consider when determining how many panels you can safely connect in a string. First, check the open circuit voltage VOC of your solar panels. This is usually listed on the back of the panel or in the datasheet. VOC is the maximum voltage the panel can produce when there's no load connected. 2. Inverter Limits Next, look at your inverter's maximum input voltage. This is the highest voltage your inverter can handle. You'll find this in the inverter's manual or datasheet. 3. Temperature Effects Don't forget about temperature. Solar panel voltage increases in cold weather. So, you need to account for the lowest expected temperature in your area. Most datasheets include a temperature coefficient for voltage. Section 3. Calculating the maximum number of panels Let's do a quick calculation to figure out how many panels you can safely connect. Here's the formula. Max panels equals inverter max voltage divided by adjusted panel VOC. First, adjust the panel's VOC for the coldest temperature in your area. For example, if your panel's VOC is 40 volts and the temperature coefficient is negative 0.3% per degree Celsius and the coldest temperature is minus 10 degrees Celsius, the adjusted VOC would be higher. Once you have the adjusted VOC, divide your inverter's maximum input voltage by the adjusted VOC. That will give you the maximum number of panels you can connect in a string. Example, inverter max voltage equals 600 volts, adjusted VOC equals 44 volts, max panels equals 13. Section 4. Practical Example Let's say you have an inverter with a maximum input voltage of 600 volts and panels with an adjusted VOC of 44 volts. Dividing 600 by 44 gives you about 13.6. Since you can't have a fraction of a panel, you'd round down to 13 panels per string. Remember, it's always better to stay under the inverter's limit to account for any unexpected voltage spikes. Section 5. Common Mistakes to Avoid before we wrap up, here are a few common mistakes to avoid. 1. Ignoring temperature. Not accounting for temperature changes can lead to overvoltage and damage your inverter. 2. Mixing panel types. Never mix different types of panels in the same string. Their voltages and currents may not match, causing inefficiencies or damage. 3. Overloading the inverter. Always double-check your calculations and leave some buffer to avoid exceeding the inverter's limits. And that's it. Now you know how to calculate the maximum number of solar panels you can safely connect in a string. If you found this video helpful, give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends, and don't forget to subscribe for more solar tips and tutorials. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Until then, keep harnessing the power of the sun.